Paul Sturgis, an inspector for Nixon Oil Company, heads to a chill little Mexican town in Baja, California with his wife Ines and their two awesome kids, Audrey and Tommy, for a sweet vacation. But when they reach the town, dude, it's a total mess. Get ready to buckle up for the mind-bending mystery you've been waiting for, the Black Demon. This suspenseful journey will have you on the edge of your seat, palms sweating as you dive headfirst into a world of enigma and intrigue. Get ready to unravel the secrets of the Black Demon in a thrilling ride that will leave you breathless. The locals who are left in the town are all suspicious and not very friendly, man, and things go from bad to worse when they find out that Paul works for the same company that set up the oil rig offshore. The people in the town are super angry. Paul's just trying to figure out if the rig is worth fixing up or shutting down. So he takes a boat to check it out. When he gets there, man, the rig is like all run down and dangerous. And there's a massive oil spill surrounding it. Only two dudes, Chato and Junior, and their chihuahua are left working on the rig. But things get even more intense, bro. Because the angry locals start hassling and following Paul around. So, Ines decides to fork over some cash to a boat owner and they all hop on another boat to join Paul at the rig. And guess what? As they arrive, Chero and Junior totally freak out and start shooting flares because there's this humongous 60 foot, that's 18 meters, megalodon shark. And they call it El Demonio Negro, or the Black Demon, cruising around and chasing the boat. Whoa, talk about a wild ride. Just barely making it onto the rig without any harm, the fam has to watch helplessly as that megalodon wrecks the boat that brought them there, taking out the captain and everything. Man, what a brutal attack. After that crazy scene, Chero spills the beans to Paul. Turns out, some lucky crew members managed to escape the megalodon's rampage. But the rest weren't so lucky. They got straight up devoured. And get this, bro. The radio on the rig doesn't even work. And when they called Nixon Oil for help, those corporate dudes straight up ignored them. Chero also let slip that Nixon Oil totally knew about the oil spill that's coming from the rig. But they didn't give a damn about fixing it. Later on, Ines stumbles upon the safety reports for the rig. And she notices that all the warnings were completely ignored. And guess who signed off on the revitalization of the rig, bro? Yup, it was Paul even though he knew how dangerous it was. Talk about some messed up stuff, dude. When Ines confronts Paul about knowing how unsafe the oil rig was and still signing bogus reports, he owns up to his mistakes. He admits that he did what he did because he wanted to provide a better life for his fam, you know. He thought his job and his family's security were on the line if he didn't play by the company's rules. But here's the messed up part. Paul spills the beans that Nixon Oil came up with these self-inspections to cover up their shady practices. They straight up ignored all the dangerous conditions. And when Paul tried to call them out on their messed up ways, they threatened him, man. They really had him by the you-know-whats. Since then, he's been stuck working for these self-serving jerks while the local community suffered because of their negligence and greed. It's a total bummer. While Chero and Junior are diving underwater to fix the rig's power, they have this crazy discussion about the Megalodon. Chato thinks it's like this messenger of the rain god, Tlaloc, who punishes those who take too much from nature. Deep stuff, man. Anyway, as they're down there, Paul notices something sketchy. A demolition bomb strapped to one of the rig's legs. And get this, bro. It hits him that Nixon Oil wanted to off him from the start. They knew that sooner or later, their careless ways would be exposed and they'd be blamed for that oil spill. So, they made Paul sign all those papers, setting him up to take the fall and bite the dust when the bomb went off. That's seriously messed up. Sadly, the shark catches Junior and takes him out. But Chato barely manages to escape. It's a real heartbreaker, man. As his fam and Chato make their escape, Paul knows he's gotta step up and make things right. So, he dives underwater to plug up that oil spill and take down the Megalodon once and for all. He manages to stop the leak. But that mega shark won't give up. It forces Paul to hide inside the rig structure, man. But here's where things get heavy. Paul straps the bomb to his chest and realizes the only way to take out the megalodon is to sacrifice himself. With the radio he's got, he says his final goodbyes to his family. Then, he lets the shark chow down on him while the bomb goes boom. It takes out the megalodon and causes the whole rig to collapse into the sea. 
Talk about a heroic and epic move, man. Paul went out like a true legend. While they head back, Paul's fam plans to hand over the documents he gave them to the town folks so they can take Nixon Oil to court and make him pay. As they cruise back to shore, a local fishing boat comes to the rescue. Just in time, because a rainstorm starts brewing. Chill vibes, man. They're on their way to bring some justice and safety to the town, all while getting some help and avoiding that rainstorm. We hope your mind is still reeling from the captivating mystery of the Black Demon, our pulse-pounding cinematic journey. Thank you for joining us on this exhilarating adventure. Stay tuned for more mind-bending mysteries that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Until then, brace yourself for the unknown as we continue to deliver spine-tingling cinematic experiences that will leave you craving more.